Hello Internet, Parak Dhawan here. In this video, we will see how to create data frame using list of dictionaries. So when you create a data frame from a dictionary, keys of the dictionary will act as a column labels. So column labels will be A, B for the first data frame and column values will be for A, it will be one and B, it will be two. Column label for the second data frame will be A, B, C and column values will be 5, 10, 20. Now, your first uh, dictionary does not contain a label C. So therefore, value for label C for the first dictionary will be none. So when you have a list of dictionaries, we, we have stored it in a data variable and when you create a data frame from that list of dictionaries, the column of the dictionaries, column label will be the keys of the dictionaries and the values will be the values for those keys. If the key is not present, then the value for the key in the data frame will be empty. For example, if you click on the cell and run the cell, you have for the first data frame A, B key and values one, two, but you didn't have the key C, therefore C key was a NAND, the value for C key was NAND. For the second data frame, A, B, C column names were there, and values were 5, 10, 20. You didn't pass any row index using index keyword argument. By default, it will be treated as 0 and 1. So this data frame is a label data structure with row labels as 0, 1 and column labels as A, B, C. Moving to the next example, where if we create data frame from the same list of dictionaries, where you have column labels. Now you are giving row labels as first and second. So you are passing keyword argument index is equal to in opening and closing square bracket, a string first and second. If you create the data frame and print it on the user screen, now you can see instead of by default zero and one index label are first and second row uh, column labels are A, B and C values are one, two and nine for the first dictionary and for second dictionary, it was five, 10 and 20. Moving to the next example, wherein we are creating a dictionary data frame from a dictionary data. Now we are passing keyword argument, index is equal to first second. So a row label will be first second and column labels will be A, B only. So which keys will be used to create a data frame? A and B only. Apart from this, the rest of the key will be ignored. So if you print the data frame DF1, you can see you have keys A and B for the first data frame with value one and two. You have keys A and B for the second data frame with value five and 10. We have first and second are the index or row label passed by us using keyword argument index first second. If you check the data variable, you have first dictionary with keys A and B values one, two. Second data frame with keys A and B and value five and 10. Therefore, the result of F1 was one and two, five and 10, A, B column label, first, second row label. What if, if your column contains or column label contains a string which is not available in the dictionary? So the key B1 is not available in the dictionary list of dictionary data. So that values for that key will be treated as null or NAND. So we are creating data frame from list of dictionaries we are, we are passing row labels using index keyword argument. Index is equal to first and second. So row label will be first and second. And column labels or column name, column is equal to A comma B1. So this A was present in both the dictionaries. So A key and values will be used. This key is not available in both the dictionaries. So for this label, the values will be empty. Click on the cell and run the cell. You can see for label A, 15 was present in the list of dictionary. For label B1, nothing was present. Therefore, it is treated as not a number. That's it for this video, wherein we have created 
data frame from a list of dictionaries. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Do hit that subscribe button for more such technical content. See you in the next video.